Yeah. What's up, Brooks? Welcome back to All the Castles, the show where we visit all the castles in the UK. Today, we're here at Alton Castle, which is connected to a pub, which we'll probably be having much later. Hopefully. It's uh, right up at the top of the hill in the... Is it a town or city? No, it's a village called Alton. I mean, in Hong Kong in general. Yeah, Alton is like a little suburb of... We are in the suburb of Hong Kong, known as Halton, obviously. Uh, it's up at the top of a hill. It's got a wonderful view. Keep watching because you'll get to see that view. That's right. Halton Castle is uh, built on top of a natural sandstone knoll uh, over, overlooking the River Mersey. And it's thought that it was occupied in Saxon times. There's no archaeological traces of that. And it has been speculated that Lady Ethelfleda, Alfred the Great's daughter, came here uh, as part of a war against the Vikings, but that's speculation. What we do know is that the castle was started in 1071 when William the Conqueror gave the land to uh, Hugh de Vranches, the first of Chester, and probably fought at Hastings alongside him. That was a wooden structure. Uh, the oldest part of what's remaining was built in the 13th century. We know that uh, King John visited here and he gave some money for it to be used as a chapel. Then in 1322, Edward II visited the castle. Um, it was modified in Tudor times, a gatehouse was built and then uh, in the Civil War, it was besieged twice when the Royalists held it on two separate occasions. As you might expect, when uh, the war ended, Cromwell ordered the castle to be dismantled and it became a ruin. In the uh, 1800s, some folly walls were added, so not all the walls are genuine. I'm hoping we'll be able to distinguish which ones are which, because it gave a better view of the uh, ruins from Norton Priory, which uh, then was a manor house. And in the uh, 18th century, this building here would replace the Tudor Gatehouse, which had more or less fallen down. And this was used as a courthouse right up until 1908. And the cellars of the pub were once used to house prisoners. Um, since then it's been a pub and you get access to the interior of the castle through the uh, pub and crossing fingers this is going to happen before too long. But now we're going to uh, take the circular walk right around the perimeter of the castle which should give some marvellous views over to the Mersey. Right, lead on. I think these are folly walls. No. Yeah, I think the wall on our right, or our left, sorry, is one of the folly walls. It doesn't quite look medieval to me. You can see over there, already seen part of the Mersey. I first came here 30 years ago with a previous girlfriend, but as my wife watches these videos, I won't say any more about that. Uh oh! That's the best view that you're going to get. Yeah, and yeah, wonderful view of the road bridge Is over to Widnes and uh, Fiddler's Ferry Power Station oh, there yeah. and then over to the older bridge carrying the railway over to Witness. Very interesting. Yeah. 
can see. Go, you can go. You can actually kind of see the way that the Mersey travels here. Yeah. It's like it comes from there. It takes. Uh, yeah, it does. Don't forget to follow our All the Rivers series, in which we will eventually get around to covering the River Mersey. That one's going to take us a hell of a long time. The walls above this one don't look like a falling here. No, I think we're on to a more authentic stretch of walling here. I'm not meaning the bottom one, I'm meaning the bottom Yeah. Because all built with loco sandstone. I've got to say, you can find the messy buildings in the walls. Yeah. Yep. Newer walls have much larger bricks than the old ones. Yeah. The window frames have an ecclesiastical look. I'm wondering if this was the outside of the chapel. Okay. We're now approaching the most impressive part of the castle remains. wondering if the sally port was around here because the uh, River Mersey apparently once lapped right up against this knoll but uh, land changes have allowed development in the intervening centuries and yes, someone's sir. left a little rose here Very wrong man If you look to your right you can get another view of the road Yeah. Splendid. And uh, from this corner, the view out to Helsby Hill, the distance. Uh, these are covering up. As you can see, it's quite an impressive size. Of course, we're out in the outer bailey here. In the 14th century, the castle became uh, part of the Duchy of Lancaster and they still own it. So it's not own, run by English heritage, this is a crown property. And John of Gaunt apparently used it as a hunting lodge. Right, well we're here inside the castle pub a few months later because it was closed. The previous licensees had a problem so it wasn't open back when we filmed the earlier footage. So this uh, is now the inside of the pub, very nice and tidy and this used to be the old uh, court building. And there's some uh, nice pictures of what used to be here. Yeah, the pub also has uh, quite a few uh, sketches of the castle from different periods. So this is what it looked like in 1769. We're actually standing in the gatehouse, so that's obviously been extensively remodelled since then. And you can see that there's a lot more of the curtain wall than is now uh, apparent. So... We will now proceed to go out into the inner bailey. The only access to it is through the pub. Uh, it's under recent management. I know the previous management used to let visitors walk through and look around without actually buying anything, but uh, we have done because we're polite. Okay, so as I say, the exit is through 
the, the entrance to the Inner Baileys through the back of the uh, pub. I think we'll walk it in an anti-clockwise direction. Um, we've had, oh, can you see the plane up there? Look to the left a bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's right there. You. Yes, we're pretty close to Liverpool Airport here, so uh, the modern world does impinge. Um, we're here in June, although actually the weather is, is worse than when we came here in uh, December. So, anyway, we're okay here. See some unfortunate... Uh, graffiti here but uh, this would be the back wall of the gatehouse so yes this must be I think the most spectacular beer garden in England so yes I mean there are so there is some uh, display material here so we'll take you through it because I noticed on the earlier footage that the wind was drowning me out a bit. So the history starts with the Battle of Hastings. Uh, Harold is killed and William brings the Normans in and they have to uh, start building castles fast to I defend think, themselves I from the Saxons. Is actually from the Bay Tapestry. It is, yes. Well spotted, Simon. So you've got a wooden castle here mentioned in the Doomsday Book. And then sometime in the 1100s, this would have been made into a stone castle. And King John visited Halton in 1207. We're now moving on to what is the highest remaining part of the castle. So, yeah, that's a lovely ornate window and a smaller one to its side. And you've also on this side, you've got a, a little recess. Wonder what, any guesses as to what that might have been, Simon? Ammunition? Maybe. Probably not. And possibly an arrow loop here it might be something like old middle ages shell yeah yeah run on seaside isn't it well ri ri like? riverside yeah so yes it does look more like a battlement more like a military structure imagine they find a good few arrows out of this. Yeah, but it's it's quite wide for that. The arrow loops tend to be narrower. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Okay, this church is a Victorian church, but it may be on the site of a chapel which existed... Uh, at the same time that the castle was built back in 1071, but that seems to be conjectural. Seems funny. Okay, well, this is the entrance to what was, well, I suppose still is, a sunken garden. Now this dates, I think, really from the time, I don't think this is medieval, but, uh, this dates from the uh, 18th century reconstruction of the uh, courthouse, but uh, it is a rather nice feature. At the left hand side of the beer garden, you've got what used to be the lock ups, because as well as a courthouse, it was also a prison. So they don't look all that comfortable. Like this is a lock-up? Yeah. These are all, all the uh, criminals of Runcorn would be uh, 
locked up while awaiting sentencing or post-sentencing. I'm not sure. It's been interesting to know how many it had in total. I mean, wasn't that an old courthouse? Yes. I presume it just come out from there into air, I guess. Yep, I think so. Right. I do hope that you uh, like this video because it's taken us uh, a decent amount of time to uh, get it done. Um, please like, leave a bit of a comment, subscribe if you particularly want to, we would greatly appreciate it, and maybe even share it with your mates if they're interested in the topic that we're covering. Uh, thank you very much for watching, have a beautiful day, bye bye.